This week on Good Delivery. I'll have what he's having, not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the not part. You just go like this. Ooh. Those are the school doors, schools in session. I do appreciate you guys' yeah. notes as uh, misguided they may be. On the show this week, we have a fantastic comedian. He's also a correspondent on Vice News. We're so pumped he's here. Please give it up for Alzo Slade. Yeah. yeah. What's up, what's up, so we have time for just one joke. So whenever you're ready, take it away. So I was hanging with my buddy the other day. He's a Scottish dude, and he was just telling me about how he just found out like his lineage, his heritage. Like he 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 des he's descending from from like Scottish kings or something. And I thought it was dope that he knew his historical background of his family. And he said, well, you should, you should look yours up. I'm like, bro, it ain't like I can go look up, you know, documents and, and, and find out where my people come from. My people were held in slavery. He's like, well, you should do the ancestry.com. I'm like, I don't know. So I did some research and there's 23andMe, Ancestry.com. And come to find out, all of these services are owned by white people. And I'm thinking, y'all think y'all slick. You gonna steal me from my land, bring me to a land that you stole, and then charge me $99 to tell me where you stole me from in the first place? Nah, I ain't falling for that nonsense. As far as I'm concerned, I'm from Wakanda forever. Hey. <laughs> Great joke, starting from a really strong place, uh, but definitely some room for us to punch up. That's what we're gonna do right now. Got my notebook. Also, it's really important to think about audiences' expectations. You know, so when you say Scotland, the audience is gonna expect you to talk about classic Scottish things, like haggis. I thought you were gonna say haggis. When yeah. you said Scotland, I was like, here comes the a haggis bit. It's First like thing I wrote down was haggis. It's like sheep insides or something. We're gonna have to look it up. Well, all you three know. of y'all wrote haggis. Yeah, you said Scotland. How do you see haggis being incorporated into the bit? You gotta say haggis. And then I think finish it off with, what even is that? And then you could go, yucky. Yucky, that's fine. Yucky. Or I'll have what he's having, not yeah. <laughs> yeah, the not part. The not part. Do you guys have anything besides haggis for notes? I'm I out. need a second. I have a lot I have a lot of haggis stuff. Okay. It's such a funny joke that just touches on slavery, but why not do slavery in a new way that a lot of comedians haven't talked about? Why not talk about international child slavery? You don't think that'll bring the room down a little bit? I was reading an article the other day that in there are places in Sudan where you can buy a boy. Uh, you want me to talk about child enslavement in Sudan? It's happening in Morocco. It's happening in Indonesia. And then people aren't like, okay, I've heard this type of joke about slavery before. I've never heard a joke like that before, Whoa. particularly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. White people, we're talking about slavery, so. Yeah, you should go. We'll go. Yeah. See, you have an opportunity to educate and say something casual like newsflash. There are places in Sudan where you can buy a young boy. Bruh, this is not a poetry slam or TED talk. You all talking about TED talks? Can we come back for TED talks? I love TED talks. No, it was just a brief second. It was, okay. So we should. Yeah. It's too heavy to say slavery is still happening. You got to say newsflash. There are places in Sudan where you can buy a boy. Who's in? Bruh, that sounds like I'm trying to sell little boys to the audience. What part makes it feel like that? Any phrasing like, if you would like to buy a boy, speak to me. What? I think what makes it powerful is that you're going so deep into darkness that then at the end, when you come back out by going, oh, I just remembered haggis, <laughs> yucky. <laughs> and then it's what like, is that? wow, we're back out again. Here's what I love about this joke. 
is you take us on an intellectual journey. We go from Scotland to the international slave trade to the internet. I think you should be using a school motif so that we know that we're about to learn some stuff. Right at the top of the joke, you just go like this. Those are the school doors, schools in session. Later on, you could go just erasing the blackboard because class has started. You don't think that's too patronizing? Have you heard of Andrew Rice Clay? Andrew Dice Clay? I haven't heard of him. This guy I saw some YouTube clips of. People love feeling like they're getting dunked on. And if you put in a couple of those, school's in session, you erase the blackboard up there, you take a second and you take a bite out of an apple and go, oh. the teacher is pleased. I'm eating an apple because the... Because your students respect you enough to bring you an apple because they know you like it. Do you think you want to do this with your notes? Uh, yeah, okay. Hey folks, how you doing? I'm Alzo Slay and... School is in session. <laughs> yeah. Buckle so up. I was with my best friend who's Scottish. She was telling me about how she descends from Scottish queens and kings. And I'm like, Haggis? What? Haggis. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. I just thought that I'd like to know where my people come from. So I did some research on Ancestry.com and 23andMe, and I found out that they were owned by white people. And newsflash, speaking of own, did you know you could own a little boy? I don't think you should, but whatever, you know. The blackboard is erased and we starting anew. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. I was like, yo, these ancestry tests, I'm not doing it because you stole me from my land, bring me to a land you stole, and then you're going to try to tell me, you know, charge me $99 to tell me where you stole me from in the first place. I'm like, nah, man. Have you ever had haggis? <laughs> Yaki. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then I just wanna I just wanna let you guys know you've been you've been a great audience. So I'm eating an apple because the teacher is pleased. Please. He's pleased. Wow. Oh, oh wow. my. Oh my. Wow. 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 The callback at the end. Dying. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. wow. <laughs> I needed that laugh. You know what? I do appreciate you guys' notes as uh, misguided they may be. Some of it felt pretty good and other and other other parts of it felt disgusting. Yeah, the haggis part. <laughs> yucky. yucky. That is so yucky. <laughs> yucky. So yucky. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Thank you. People say that Thank every you. time.